Hello, welcome back to Two Minute Teacher Tech. My name is Adam Howard and today I'm here to tell you about a cool new Chrome extension that acts as a Fitbit for all of your online reading. Stack Up Reading allows you and your students to track all of your online reading by time, by category, and by reading level. The coolest thing about Stack Up is that the setup time is almost non-existent and once you get it set up, you don't have to worry about it at all. Now before I start showing you Stack Up Reading, I want to show you an example school report to give you an idea of just how powerful this little Chrome extension can be. Let's take a look at it. All right, now what we're looking at here is an example Stack Up School Report card, where on the left you're going to see the amount of hours that the students are spending reading, both in aggregate and in average. Uh, at the bottom you're going to see information broken down by teacher and by category. Now in the middle, that's the important part. That's where you're going to see that student growth. That's where you're going to see the growth in the amount of hours that the students are spending reading online. And those little dots are the reading level. So you can also see them growing in reading level if they're moving from a 6th grade to a 7th grade to an 8th grade reading level. You're going to see that growth over time. And you don't need me to tell you how important information like this is to schools. All right, now that we've seen the output of Stack Up Reading, I'm going to show you how to get started using it today. All right, the first thing you're going to want to do is type Stack Up Reading into the search bar. You're going to click the tab and then you're going to hit the big orange button that says Add to Chrome. All right, once you do that, you select teacher or student, and then you can use either your regular email address or your Gmail address. There you go. And then once you do that, you're going to get this S in your extension bar. There you go. Now, this is going to be your quick look. From here, you can go to your dashboard, or you can see your average reading level by hitting that orange button there, but we're going to go to dashboard. Now, on the left, you're going to see a number of different options. Um, you can see your dashboard, which is all the challenges you've enrolled in so far. Um, or you can go to categories, you can go to suggested sites, um, you can go to your badges. The badges are what you earn after you spend so much time reading in certain categories. Um, and so on. So we're going to go back to dashboard and I want to show you a challenge that I'm doing with uh, one of my classes already that's in progress. Um, how this works is this is just a general reading challenge to see who spends the most time online reading. Uh, and I'm winning, so look at that. Anyway, so there you go. It's just breakdown um, by the amount of time the students have spent reading. It has the trending sites that we're spending the most time on, and it has some suggested sites also, which is pretty cool. Up here, you can see the code. If somebody comes in late and wants to join the challenge, they're able to uh, just search that code, and they can jump right in. So um, I'm going to show you how to start a challenge now. You just go down to create a challenge. Um, you're going to fill in this information. Now the challenges can be, like I said, they can be general reading challenges for just the bulk amount of time that you spend reading. Um, you can set goals or you can set categories like I do down here at the bottom. Um, so they only get credit for reading in specific categories. Now it's going to give you the class code there that you can share out. They're going to take that code and type it in right here in the find a challenge in their dashboard and that will join them to the challenge. So anyway, so that's how you use challenge. That's how you use Stack Up Reading. All right, now that's our quick introduction to Stack Up Reading. I hope that you found this helpful. If you have, please hit like and subscribe below. And each week, Two Minute Teacher Tech will bring you the latest in classroom technology and teacher hacks in a concise and easy to follow way that respects your time budget. Thank you, and we'll see you next week.